Hello fellow fish keepers, today I'm going to share with you our DIY filtration system, okay? Okay, so we have here three buckets, the black, the yellow, and the blue. Okay, for the first bucket, we're going to fill this one with Talaba shells or the oyster shells, okay? And the second uh, bucket, we're going to fill this one with fiber fill or the filter wall or the foam, okay? And for the third bucket, we're going to place here the ceramic rings, okay? Which is the uh, biological media, the house for our beneficial bacteria, okay? So, let us now fill in the chambers with our uh, medias, okay? So this is our oyster shell or the talaba shell where we are going to place this on the first chamber. And there goes our fiber fill or the filter foam or the filter wall. We're going to place that one on the second chamber. This one, one sack of ceramic ring, we are going to place this on the third chamber, the blue one. Okay, so this is the house of our beneficial bacteria or the good bacteria. Now, in filling up the oyster shells or the talaba shells, be sure that you, go, you use a net so that if ever you're going to pull out the talaba shells or the oyster shells, it will be easy for you to pull it out and then squish it if you want to wash your talaba shells. Okay? So, because if you will not uh, use a net, then you will be pulling out your talaba shells one by one. Okay, so it's better that you have your net. If just in case you want to clean your talaba shells, so you can simply pull your uh, net and together with your talaba or the oyster shells. Okay, so we will uh, place this one here. Okay, so like that. So, so the net is uh, big just to assure that all of the talaba shells will uh, be uh, accommodated inside, okay? Okay, so this is how we, I place the net for our talaba shells, okay? So it's now ready to be filled with talaba shells or the oyster shells, okay? So... We will now fill this, with, this one with talaba shells or the oyster shells. So here are the talaba shells or the oyster shells now ready to be placed inside the first chamber. Okay? The bucket now is full of oyster shells, so we are arranging them, okay, so that the water will flow freely and proceed to the next chamber, okay? So this is our talaba shell that fills the first chamber. Now we close the net, okay? So we close now the first chamber with the net that holds the talaba shell, okay? So, if you're going to clean the talaba shell, you just pull this one and squish it with water. So, you will not be uh, taking out the talaba shells one by one. So, that's the reason why we are putting or placing the talaba shells or the oyster shells inside this net. Okay? So, the next chamber is the yellow one. Wherein we're going to place here the fiber fill or, or the filter foam.
Okay, so this is our second chamber. Then we, we're in, we will fill the second chamber with the uh, filter foams. Okay, and the filter foams are given weight by using the big stones. Okay, so that the filter foams will not float if the water will goes in. Okay, so this is our second chamber. It's time to place the ceramic rings here in the third day chamber. So this is our one sock of ceramic rings. Okay, so we are going to place this here on our third chamber. Okay. So these are the ceramic rings were in the good or the beneficial bacteria will live in here so that the nitrates, the ammonia will be a lesson. Okay, if not totally eliminated at all, at least the ammonia and the nitrous will be lessened okay so that our fish will not be harmed by the ammonia and the nitrites so this is a third chamber okay so it's now time to place with ceramic rings okay so we intend not to place the ceramic rings inside the net because if we're going to clean the ceramic rings we'll just be pulling this out then we'll just bring it into our deep well or the jetmatic pump okay where we're going to clean this one with water okay so including your ceramic rings there's no need to brush them individually just simply squish them in water okay uh, chlorinated water is not advisable for you to use if you're going to clean your ceramic rings okay so once again these are the house of our beneficial bacteria so if you can use plenty of ceramic rings or filter media for your pan or your aquarium then much better okay because the more ceramic rings or filter milias you're going to use then that gives more house also for the beneficial bacteria so the more house the beneficial bacteria will have then the more beneficial bacteria will be will live inside your filtration system okay so the the many the beneficial the ceramic rings the better okay so for now our water is not that clean okay but but when this filtration system will work then uh, i assure you that this water will be more or less crystal clear water okay we need to have a clean and healthy water so that our fish will also be healthy okay So this is now our third bucket with full of ceramic rings. Okay, okay. So that's our third bucket. So here, ceramic rings, fiber peel, and the uh, oyster shells or the talaba shells. Okay. So let's now try to uh, turn on the pump so that we can see how this nutrition system works. Okay. So let's turn this on. Okay. So we are using actually the uh, Rio pump that is 35 watts, okay, 35 watts, then so the water under our pan okay, will come up, okay, then the water goes in here, then the water will go up, then flow here of this pipe, then the water will go down, then it will flow, will go up again, then there's a two-way filtration system already, then the clean water, the filtered water, will now go to the third chamber wherein the beneficial bacteria will live. Okay, so because the third chamber is full of biological media, which is the ceramic ring. Okay, so you can also use lava ring or the bacterials or whatever filtration media 
as long as it is it will do good for your time then you can use any filtration media so as you can see the water flows from the first chamber to the second chamber okay so the water here is uh, partially cleaned or partially filtered so it will go to the second chamber for the second stage of filtration so now you can see now that the water is going up okay and it passed through the second filtration so the water is now clean so it goes into the pipe then the water will go here on the third chamber okay the third chamber is again full of ceramic rings okay uh, which uh, is the house of our beneficial bacteria okay so this is the second chamber okay so now we will wait for the water so there goes the water okay so this is our diy filtration system okay so it has three chambers the first chamber is filled with oyster or talaba shells then the second chamber is filled with foams or the filter foams and the third chamber is filled with ceramic rings okay then the water that comes out is already filtered with water and that makes the water already clean okay so sooner the water in this pan will be clearer okay so we're expecting that the water in this pan in a couple of hours or a few hours will be clear okay so our voice will be swimming happily that is our diy filter system okay so it goes to three process okay as you can see here on the side these are actually the drain pipes for our filter boxes okay for our filter chambers okay so if you think that your chamber is already full of dirt or full of poops or whatever okay so you can just whatever you can just open this one okay, like this you can just open this one like that okay then the water will be drained okay and same is true with here you can just open that one then the water will go out then close that one okay so now for the first stage of filtration we intend to place the plastic here so that you can see how the water or the dirt is going on here okay so if the water here is not clear already this is the to say that you need to open this one so that the dirt will be released okay so that's the reason why we place plastic here okay so that we can see how's the water on the first stage of filtration so for this case it's still clear okay this is our DIY filtration system okay so again what's inside here is the are the oyster shells okay so this is full of oyster shells or the talaba shells okay so those are the oyster shells okay that uh, initially separate the solid and the liquid the solid are the debris the poops that's inside our tank okay so initially that's the purpose why we place on the first stage the talaba shells okay then here so on this chamber we intend to place here the filter foams for the same reason as to the first stage of filtration so that the uh, particles that escapes on this stage will be uh, filtered on the second stage okay so for the second for the second stage of filtration we presume that the water is already uh, filtered filtered well so that's the reason why we finally use 
on the third stage of completion the ceramic rings okay it's because we believe that this water is already filtered water okay so as you can see the water is already clear the water that comes out from our pipe is already filtered water so that makes the water now more or less clearer than we have a while ago okay so that is now our water okay so i hope that you have learned something from this video so please subscribe to our channel like this video and hit the notification bell so that the next time we have a video that will be uploaded on youtube you will be informed